Atuesta. 30 yards from goal. Two players on him, but he gets a decay. One touches it to Blessing. Blessing's now going to pop it out wide to Harvey, who's wide open at the 18. Harvey's crossed on the back post. Blessing, goal! I don't think there's any doubt the rivalry is really heating up with the Portland Timbers. So they're one of the teams I hate the most in MLS as a sports hate. And you can tell that they do not like LAFC. So, so much riding on that game. Packed house at Providence Park. Brand new, fixed up stadium, if you will, for the fans up there. They were ready to extract revenge against LAFC. They have marked this date on their calendar for a long time. So LAFC could come in and spoil the day, which is exactly what they did. But the intensity of the game, and certainly not only on the field, but in the stands, you could feel it. It was thick. Harvey finds Blessing at the six, and the team one touches it into the back of the net. It's 3-1. Beautiful goal for LAFC. They recapture the two-goal lead. We were up 2-1, but they had gotten a goal. Uh, really early in that second half, and so we were trying to get back in the game. Uh, we were able to keep a good amount of possession. I think Carlos Dad had it down the right side. It got played across to Latif. So Mark played me, I just control it good. I saw Javi's going, and I give it to Javi. I, I get like space. I know there's space there, so I know Javi's gonna play like cross. The key to everything was my first touch. It was kind of out in front of me, and then as I picked my head up, uh, Christian was making a great a near post run dragging the defenders and Latif was like looping around the back. I didn't know if the timing was right. I kind of lofted it in there, but um, Latif with his speed and everything caught up to it and it ended up being a good ball and it came straight to my feet. And the keeper just come down it and I said, no, I need to like go down it and I just place it. That's a simple goal, you know. Harvey laid it on a silver platter and Blessing one touches it home with a right foot to the back post. So when I score, I think like, I was so happy, you know, I think, this goal score? When I scored the goal, they said to me, hey, you need, to, you need haircut, you need haircut. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need haircut, you know. <laughs> then I started celebrating, you know, like, start dancing. So I was so happy to score that goal. Everybody was happy for me, my family, you know, they saw the goal. They said like, wow, it's, it's amazing, you know. Bless him. It's beautifully done by LAFC. And the assist goes to the oldest player on the pitch, Jordan Harvey. I love Latif's performance in Portland, and I thought he took his goal supremely well. I mean, it was teed up on a plate for him by the quality of the ball in from Jordan Harvey. But I think it emphasised, if you like, the new threat about his game. There is that goal-scoring edge. He was never renowned for scoring goals at Kansas City particularly, but he is beginning to add that. He is getting forward with more threat and purpose. And I just think he's been a terrific signing from LAFC's point of view. Uh, unsung, largely, but I think growing in stature and in confidence. And game by game, I see uh, a more impressive, more effective Latif Blessing emerging. One of the biggest talking points in 2019 for Bob Bradley and LAFC is Latif Blessing. Now everyone was looking at Andre Horta saying, here's a designated player. How's he going to fit in a lineup when he gets his legs under him? He's injured. What does Bob Bradley do? He takes a wide player, Latif Blessing, puts him in the middle, and this train has been rolling from the beginning. A big part of that is Latif Blessing is a special player and only going to get better underneath Bob Bradley at LAFC. This is an attack to score like Mogos, but I think I'm going to, uh, when I come back from Ghana, I think I'm going to play my same position. Then it didn't happen that way, you know. Uh, Bob just talked to me, he called me, he said, hey, you know, this season we're going to put any position you're going to play, so I can put you right back, I can put you in the middle. When we start like preseason, it can start me like middle, it can start me right back. So that's what I put my mind, you know, as a player. Anywhere they pull you, you have to ready, you know, because you can get a chance there. Latif with his second of the season. LAFC respond to a rough start to the second half. Ever since he was in Ghana, he was known as a goal scorer. Latif, you know, his whole career, I think that's what he knew. The fact that he's been able to sort of alter his game to better suit the team and give his team a better chance of winning games, I think bodes, says a lot about his character, about the type of guy he is as a teammate who's willing to adjust if need be. It's not about Latif getting stats, it's not about Latif getting goals, it's about the team winning games. And having a player on your team like that who can work as hard as Latif is hugely beneficial because they're willing to work however need be. He's even made jokes he'd play goalkeeper if, if, that, if it come down to that. Uh, his ability to, to give us energy, um, to cover this, the most ground on the team, uh, it really helps us um, in transition. And uh, yeah, he's been great for us uh, this year. He didn't know he had such great vision. He's finding these passes through the lines and 
um, you know, each and every week when he initially got into that midfield role, he got better and better. And so um, he's kind of commanded that position. And so we're uh, all that better because of it. No, oh, he's been great. Uh, uh, he's a very important guy in the midfield. And, and uh, it's a lot of energy when he's coming on the field and the defense loves him. And, and uh, especially we call him Kante every day and he knows that. So, so he's everywhere. If you turn your back, he's there and snapping the ball and, and giving good passes and good tackling. And it's, it's a lot of energy of this guy. And I'm just happy for him. Better shot. Say, hey, when I call you Latif, you cannot pay attention. Well, I'm going to call you Kante. When I call you Kante, I know you pay attention, you know? <laughs> and I said, OK, fine. If you want to be going Kante, you know Chelsea, Kante is like doing everything, you know? But when you call me Kante, it's fine, you know? Kante is a good player, he tag, he win every, every ball, you know? Anytime we are good to the game, you know, I have to focus and play good and score. Because when I play good, my family is happy. When I score good, my family is happy. So I have to put that thing in my mind, you know? So when any game by game, you know, I have to do anything to make my family happy. That's what I do. You know?